This is a spider web made with rubber cement resist and watercolor. You have to put your name on the back first because it's going to be wet and sticky. Don't forget your class number. I'd like you to also add your table color. We will start with rubber cement. Don't go crazy at this point. We're just making our spider web lines. Once you have all the straight lines that meet in the middle, you can make some circles that go around the center. If you get drips and drizzles and things get a little wonky, that's totally fine. It makes it even more cool. We're going to outline these markings with a marker later, so you don't want to go crazy. Just make a few simple lines and a few simple circles. Once it's dry, we're going to add a wash of watercolor. So I'm going to spritz my paper and my paint tray and pick something that's not super dark. Um, lights and medium colors are fine. Well, any color is fine, but if you add a good amount of water, it will make it a nice light or medium tone. And we're going to cover the entire page. And now we leave this to dry. Time for more rubber cement. This time we can be crazy, squirrely, squiggly. Just uh, don't make huge globs because it takes way too long to dry. So have fun. The second layer of rubber cement is all dry and now we get to paint it again. Uh, so we're going to wet everything down, spritz it on the paper, make sure our paints are wet as well. And now you can paint however you like. We're going to fill the whole paper again. You can use dark colors, vibrant, uh, really watered down colors, whatever you like. So go ahead and get that filled in. Now that it's all filled in, we're going to take some more color and pick a few sections and kind of make some parts of this pop so that it doesn't look just like a giant wash, in my case of purple and green. I took some red here and I found some a few interesting shapes. Sometimes I took a whole section of the spider web and sometimes I took sections of the squiggly glue spaces I made the second time. It doesn't matter. Um, so take a few colors and find a few spots that you can make pop while it's all still wet and gets all blended together. It's okay to mix colors on your paper. You just don't want to mix them in your tray on top of the colors and get them all gross. Okay, it's all dry and now it's time to take off that rubber cement. You have to have clean hands to begin. It's important to take your time and to not wrinkle your paper and to not rub it really, really hard. So you'll get these little gummy balls of rubber cement that pop up. You just want to gently rub it and get that glue off but you don't want to wrinkle your paper and you don't want to smear paint onto the white parts that are showing through. 
Also, you want to keep the crumbs next to you because we're going to throw those away. Don't push them onto other people's art or onto the floor. Again, you're going to do it slowly. And sometimes going in one direction is a good idea so you don't tear or wrinkle your paper. Check and see that there isn't any you missed by feeling the page. You can use one of these clean erasers, not a regular pencil one we have lying around. If any of your paint got a little smudged on the white parts, we can clean it up with this eraser. But it does take off a little bit of paint, so you only want to use it if you really have to. And then you're going to collect all of those rubber crumbs, put them in your hand, and throw them in the trash can. It is time for Sharpie. We are going to outline just the spider web, not the other squiggles, so just the white parts. And you're going to go on each side of the white lines. So I'm going to show this to you up close. It is a slow, careful process. And you'll notice that I turn my paper and I never really move my drawing hand. My drawing hand gets in a very comfortable spot I turn my paper so that I'm always going one direction, just find my spot, drag my marker, find my spot, drag my marker. This is not sped up or slowed down for you. I just wanted you to see how slow of a process it is because that's how careful you're going to be. There are globs that make the lines wonky and that's cool. So just because the spider web's normally pretty straight, you're going to make your lines whatever the rubber cement did. So if the rubber cement was straight, fine. If the rubber cement left a glob, then you trace around that glob, just whatever is white. Okay, I'm going to zoom back out so you can see how much I turn my paper and how much my hand stays in the same place. Look at this. Every time my line is going to change direction, I turn the paper. I do not move my drawing hand. I want us to start neatly putting our names in the bottom corner, small but neat. And there you have it. Got to practice a lot of cool things. We'll talk about the elements of art and principles of design in this project. And you have a spooky spiderweb. <laughs>